Journey is a 2012 indie adventure game developed by that game company and published by Sony. It received a 92 on Metacritic, as well as winning a catalogue of awards, including, but not limited to, Game of the Year and Sound Design. The sound design was so popular it became the first video game to be nominated for a Grammy, being nominated for the Best Soundtrack for Visual Media. Journey takes place in a desolate desert. You play as a mysterious cloaked figure, working your way elegantly through numerous levels, heading towards the centre of an ancient city. As you work your way through these beautifully designed levels, the story of a society destroyed by conflict slowly becomes clearer as you increase your ability to call on the natural magic of this world to soar through the sky and dance to your next platform. The game is very short, taking me only 2 hours and 30 minutes to complete my playthrough. As well as this, it doesn't offer much assistance in way of learning the controls. However, this isn't an issue, as the experience is powerful despite being short, and the assistance with the controls really isn't required. I found it simple enough to work out anything that wasn't explicitly explained, and once I was used to the control scheme, it very quickly began to feel natural. With no dialogue, you'd be forgiven for being worried that the game struggles to keep your attention, and keep you immersed. However, the sound design and below the surface story details will really manage to grab your focus. This in turn will lead to a very immersive experience. However, I would be concerned if this game was in the 6-10 to 10 hour range with no dialogue, because I would find that personally difficult to remain engaged with. This is a kind of game that is genuinely an artistic experience, and it is designed as such. This does mean that to a lot of people it won't be enjoyable. Lots of people don't view, enjoy or interact with games as art, and therefore games that are art first tend not to be of interest to them. This idea of it being art primarily is further compounded with the notion of it being the first game to earn a Grammy nomination, as it was able to break the glass ceiling of traditional art looking down on video games as a lesser expression. Traditionally, when reviewing a game, I would focus more on gameplay, but this is the kind of game where that feels wrong, because based on gameplay this wouldn't be anything special, even though it is intuitive and fun. When a game so clearly wants to prioritise overall experience over any individual part of the game, it becomes far more important to view the game through that lens. To paraphrase Aristotle, the whole is far greater than the sum of its parts. By this I mean I don't think any one thing about Journey is a uniquely brilliant or insightful decision, but when all of these parts come together we are left with something that leaves you in awe. The sound design complementing the environment, which is the perfect playground for the movement systems, which all come together in a beautiful euphony of story, gameplay, visuals and sound. I am late to the party with Journey, but as they say, better late than never, as this was one journey that I'm glad I eventually got to take. This isn't at all my usual kind of game, but as I strive to try new styles of game and broaden my horizons, this game was the perfect example of what I've been missing out on. Before I give my final score, I'd like to say if you've made it this far, please consider liking and subscribing. It's completely free and you can always change your mind later. If you're like me and very stuck in your AAA title phase, consider trying out Journey. I think, like it did for me, you'll find it a great way to expand your horizons and realise what you've been missing out on. This is why this game gets a 93 out of 100. Simply stunning and a game everyone should experience at some point. Feel free to comment down below any other games you'd like to see me play and review in the future.